Hi, it's Dumpster Dive in time. Ordinarily, um, I wouldn't show you something like this, which I found five of um, in original uh, boxes, because I find these all the time. These are these uh, notepad um, things, you know, you can get them like personalized with your company logo and stuff, and they're just like memo uh, pads, like this one that's just got a you know, calendar in it. And sometimes they do actually uh, take these because they can be uh, useful. And anyway, I thought it was just like, you know, rather big and rather plush, and I flipped to the back and, hey, what's this? <laughs> We've got some leads. I thought, oh, it's a, a cable storage. And then I went, uh, nope. And then I saw down here, capacity, 10,000 milliamp hour. Um, input, 5 volts, 1 amp. Output, 5 volts, 1 amp slash 2 amps. Um, let's push the button. Looks like it's got some lead. So it's obviously a battery bank. Do I have to? Nah, it's got zippity doo in it. So I assume we have to charge it up. But anyway... Um, I've never seen one of these before. It's a bit wanky. Um, I don't know. I assume it's just like a pouch cell in there or something. I don't like the... You can kind of see the outline of the the, the cell in there. Um, I assume it's like maybe it's on a big PCB or something. Um, anyway, this is all like stitched. It's all, you know, your fake leather or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I scored five of these. So I like... I don't know why, does anyone use one of these? I don't know why, I guess if you're carrying a notebook around everywhere, if you're in a Dilbert meeting or something like that, you can secretly put your phone in the back and have it uh, charge up or something. I, I, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit of a wank, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna um, slice and dice one open and uh, see what it's like inside. But before we do that, let's see if it works. Yep, there we go. It's, it's a charging. So, yep, okay. These things are a winner winner chicken dinner. They're just uh, surplus to requirements, I guess. So, yeah, we've got a uh, USB C and one of those uh, fruity gadget uh, things. I was going to say, no micro USB, but ta da! There it is. Micro to fruity gadget. Now, of course, I wouldn't trust these at all. Geez, that's, <laughs> that's real dodgy. Oh yeah, our genuine leather is just <laughs> flaking apart. Slice and dice. Down there like that, perhaps. Yep, that didn't take much. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, we're getting close to it. Got a foam strip down the side. Slice along there as well. Yeah, that just, that just comes off. There we go, we're looking at two pouch cells here. Looks like it's sort of stuck in place there. So, it's kind of annoying. But, oh yeah, there we go, so I can pull... Oh wow, this is not smell a vision but... Yeah, you can just smell the cheapness. Oh, 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 I don't... Oh yeah, I can't describe that smell other than cheap. Um, <laughs> that's, that's the best <laughs> I can come up with, sorry. But yeah, oh, 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 I don't know, yeah. Something's been, some smell has been released from this thing. Oh, as I rip the... Yeah, oh, I don't know. It's horrid. There we go. Got all our cables out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like... I thought, like, the pouch cells are just there. Like, with just the cardboard and stuff. I thought, you know, like... <laughs> well, that was my fear, I guess. Um, I thought, you know, it's like, if they design something like this properly, because this gets thrown in a bag, it gets bent all over the place, and you don't want to be bending your pouch cells. Um, even if they are lithium uh, polymer, uh, you still don't want to go bendy bendy. These things, oh god, that smell is. We've got them, yeah, I got them on my fingers. Oh, it's disgusting. Anyway, um, yeah, like, you don't just want to have them. Like, loosey-goosey like that. That's just nuts. It's got some hot snot down here holding those in place. And there's just one board. Is there any protection? Let's get that PCB out there. And, ta-da! Ah, here you go. What do we got? Here you go. That's our PCB. Um, I don't think there's actually any protection of those cells. Yeah, those cells are just in series. And, uh... I don't think there's any embedded protection in the cells. That looks just like the pouch. Usually, like, if they've got internal protection, there'll be an internal protection PCB there. So it looks like 
they do have it. It's external on that board. I can't see that on the LCD here. But yeah, no, nah, it's not much doing. Okay, so that's an IP5306, and here's the uh, schematic of that, and the data sheet, it's one of those all-in-one things. Yeah, it is designed for power banks. It does have, uh, you know, some, like, the requisite uh, protections and uh, stuff built in, and but it only supports a single cell. So these two uh, cells, these two pouch cells, are just in parallel, not in um, series, and that's, well... Yeah, that's all she wrote. And then it's designed for like ultra low uh, bomb count and um, it just got some leads there and Bob's your uncle. So there you go. Um, yeah, it's pretty how you're doing. Built down to a price as you'd expect for these, uh, you know, really low cost uh, promo products like you'd get, you know, companies give these away at, you know, trade show stands and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, whether or not it's uh, genuine 10,000 milliamp hour i don't know leave it in the comments down below but yeah uh totally unbranded cells i wouldn't trust this uh these things at all and like there's no physical protection inside here it's just the pouch cell a bit of flimsy ugh, crappy smelly fake leathery stuff um with a bit of cardboard Ugh, i don't know um what do you reckon leave it in the comments vote down below back to the dumpster or I don't know, make use of it somehow. Uh, catch you next time.